109. It is 109. This is not okay. I am not okay with this. the whole craziness of our day. So beach, roller rink, mother-in-law, gas, all that fun stuff. some Chipotle. Uh, then I came home, I like ran a bunch of errands that needed to get done to get that house ready. And then I got a message from my mother-in-law's doctor saying that she doesn't really want to prescribe the current medicine that she put her on again. It was a temporary solution for the first medicine. Um, and so we still have the one-on-one -on -one nurse. Anyway. I gotta go over there. I have to try to figure things out because we cannot afford the one-to-one -one nurse. But if she's not calm enough to be without the one-to-one -one nurse, then we are gonna have to try to find an alternative. It's just, it's a mess. And I have to be back at work tomorrow. Like I kind of miss those kids and uh, I really need to do my job. So. It's a lot to, and my daughter kind of expects me to pick her up in like an hour, which I really don't think is going to happen. Um, I think she might be staying at the after school program a little bit longer than an hour because I really need to get this taken care of as soon as possible. So that's where I'm going. That's where I'm headed. My day off, not really a day off. I think I left the house at 840, no, 830. And then it's 1.49 right now. I did eat lunch. Like, I will admit, I ate lunch and I watched half an episode of Hometown Homicide. Um, that was it. Uh, I, I got that. Uh, but now I'm, I'm dealing with this. <sighs> stressful. It's really stressful. Um, I'm not really entirely sure what... Like, I understand that you don't want people addicted to drugs, but when that person has Alzheimer's and, yeah. All right, well, let's just go see. Let's just go see, because I don't know. And um, if she's still agitated on the medicine and they're not going to take her off of the one-to-one -one nurse, then I guess it really doesn't matter, prescribe her something else, because we're screwed then. We can't afford it. We have to look into alternative places to put her. How, where do, how do people do this? Like, how do people do this? Yes, I guess technically one of us could quit our job and then keep her here, but our house is really small. And if she's getting agitated and she's becoming violent, we have a young child. Like, is that the best environment for, 
it's not like we can say first floor, second floor. We don't have a first floor and a second floor. You know, we, like, we, our house just isn't really big enough for that. So what do we do? How do people deal with this? And I, we can't afford, it's $20,000 with the personal nurse, $20,000 a month, not a year, not every six months, but a month. Like that is astronomically expensive. I understand, I get it, you're providing a service, but at the same time, what do people do? How, I've already missed so much work. Like how does this, and it's not stuff that you can really take care of on the phone, or maybe you could if you had a desk job, I don't know. Because I've tried calling over, I've left two messages for like the wellness center to call me back where she's at, they never call me back. So like I physically, if I want an answer, I have to go there. Which is okay, because it's close by to where we, it's just, I just need to take a breath. I just need to take a breath and then take myself over there so I can figure this out. That's what we're going to do right now. Are you able to see that? It is 5.36 a.m. Not p.m. It is a.m. And I am headed to the store to get my cat some cat sand before I go and swim. So this is why I don't know where I can put this camera this is why oh I don't think I could put it down here that did not work that definite that did not work um but this is why um you know when I see like product I'm being productive I'm having a productive day I'm up at 9 a.m and making a list of stuff to do I'm like girl <laughs> let me explain um we have open house tonight and I'm going to have to go to school where I have a meeting half an hour before school starts and then teach all day and then run home, which is a 45 minute drive, by the way, it's a 45 minute drive home, get my own child from school and then I don't think I should be drinking and filming drinking. I don't think I should be dr drinking and driving. No, I don't think I should be driving. It's 530 in the morning. Um, driving and recording at the same time. What, what I'm saying is I then have to get my child go back to school and then be at school until 730 for open house. After that, I to come home, get her ready for bed, like do all the, and then, oh, I have to do laundry after that because she needs a cheer uniform for Friday night and a soccer uniform for 8 a.m. Saturday morning. So it just doesn't end. It doesn't end. The bag that I have today is the Fendi Mama Baguette bag because it just holds everything and I don't do tote bags. I really do not do tote bags. So it's as close as I can get to a large bag without going crazy. Anyway, I just thought I would point out, it is now 5.39 in the morning, getting cat sand, I'm gonna work out. I'm, I'm getting stuff done, people. I'm getting stuff done. At the same time, I just, I have another headache because I think I was able to get my mother-in-law an extension on that medication. Her doctor is going out of town. What is in the middle of the road? Oh, it's a town. Um, her doctor is going out of town, I guess, today. So she gave her like a little mini refill. And then, I don't know. I think we have a solution. I think we're just gonna try to send her to another doctor. I hate to say it, but I think, I think that that's just all we can do. Because if she doesn't calm down, she's gonna get kicked out of the facility. And we're not trying to zombify her. She's definitely not a zombie. I should have brought the camera in when I went to see her. I even offered, I said to the doctor, I will do a video call. I will bring her in. I will do whatever you need me to do to understand that she is agitated and aggressive. And the doctor just doesn't, I don't know. <laughs> like, not an option. All right, so here we are, we're at the store. Go get some cat sand because my little 
buddy needs some coffee. Cat sand. See, my brain just, it's a thing. It's a thing. Okay. All right. It's 113. Things got worse, people. 113. Good morning. It is now Saturday and I don't know what the plan is for today, but I think we're going to have to go back to my mother-in-law's and again, see if we can get the ball rolling to get her something that'll calm her down. She had an episode yesterday on the way to work. My husband had to stop there. It's crazy. Um, we're even toying with the idea of having her live here, but that's just almost an impossibility. I don't, yeah. <laughs> Do you hear what the cat said? He's like, no. Um, it's a lot. We're just really going through a lot right now. So in addition to my mother-in-law and that problem, we also have my dad who is freaking out because of the heat wave. It's already 80 degrees and it's 8.30. So I mean, for Southern California, for a beach city, like, yeah, that's, that's pretty hot. You saw my 113 thermometer <laughs> in my car. Uh, I get it. No, I, I do. But for some reason, he thinks that he doesn't have enough money to turn on his air conditioner. And I keep telling him, you do. You're not going to outlive your money. You have long-term care insurance for a time when you can no longer take care of yourself, which I think is now but that's just me. Uh, and you are not going, you're 85. You're not going to outlive your money. You can turn on the air conditioning. No, 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 no. Just yell it. Like just does not want to listen to that. He knows he, he's seen it happen. It happened to this one person he knew. Um, and he is convinced that he is going to live to be over a hundred because he met someone or he knew someone that lived to be over a hundred. So he has to prepare for living to be over 100. The thing is, if he got to be that, he's barely functional independently at 85. The thought of him at 95, let's see, he goes to over 100. The thought of him at 95 is not functional. He would have to be living in a facility in which his long-term care insurance would kick in. Therefore, and even then, like he would still have money. So he just will not listen to me. I do not know anything. He will not turn on the air. And then in addition to that, he wants me to take him to the store. I can't deliver his groceries. I have to take him to the store at a time when it's not hot. I, I'm like, what time am I supposed to take you to the store? Like six in the morning? Like what, what are we doing here? <sighs> and then we got my mother-in-law. Oh, and the place where my mother-in-law lives, they, let us know that like four people have tested positive for COVID. It's just, it's too much. It really is too much. It is way too much. And I'm supposed to have a PTA meeting today um, with someone who hasn't even answered my emails. So that's, that's rough. Anyway, yeah, that's, that's what I got going on. That's, that's life right now. Mother-in-law is still delusional. She had a really bad day yesterday. We thought it could be due to a UTI, but we just did a video appointment with the doctor and they think, well, yes, she probably does have a UTI, but that that's not causing the behavior that she still needs to see another doctor for the behavior. So that's where we are. And at this point, I think I'm going to say goodbye because we have a million and five things to do today. And sometimes none of them get filmed just because just because sometimes not all of life needs to get filmed. <laughs> Tomorrow's gonna be wild and crazy. Tomorrow, this whole week. No, I thought this week was gonna be. Anyway, I hope everyone has a good week. I hope they're healthy. Next week is my birthday. We're doing absolutely nothing. We're not doing anything. <laughs> we're surviving, that's what we're doing. We're surviving, that is my birthday present. Like whole family survival mode. But uh, I'll let you know. I think we might go out to eat. And uh, everyone have a happy, healthy, and productive week. And I will see you then.